thank God it's Friday. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands. One nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hello, I'm Kurt Browning, Pasco County Superintendent of Schools. In order to safeguard our schools, students, and staff, Pasco County will be taking affirmative action to decrease the disruption of our educational environment caused by students who engage in fights and similar misbehavior at school. For the vast majority of students and parents, this message is intended to let you know that I have heard the concerns from teachers, leaders, students, and parents that I acknowledge that there has been an unacceptable number of fights and disruptions in our schools and that I am taking action. For the small but significant number of students who engage in fights and serious misbehaviors, this message is a warning that a failure to behave appropriately in our schools will result in serious consequences. Starting today, Tuesday, March 22nd, we will no longer offer leniency when students engage in fights and similarly unacceptable behavior. From this point on, Pasco County Schools will impose the strictest disciplinary measures available against all students who engage in fights, physical attacks, battery, or similar physically abusive and disruptive acts. In other words, I'm directing principals to recommend the expulsion of any student who engages in acts of physical violence. This is a significant departure from the lenient stance we have taken before a stance that I believe has emboldened students to engage in unacceptable behavior because they have no fear of consequences. Physical altercations at school are never appropriate and no number of fights is acceptable. But this year, at some schools, the number of fights has reached an alarming level. We must and we will put an end to it. Parents, I'm asking for your support. Please discuss with your students the acceptable and appropriate behavioral expectations in all school-related activities, including but not limited to the classroom and the bus. There will be serious consequences for inappropriate behavior, and your help is needed to ensure students are aware of how such actions will negatively impact them and their future. We have sent an email to all families and all staff, notifying everyone of the steps we are taking. I urge you to read it carefully and take heart. We have no wish to expel students. We want them in school and in class learning. At the same time, we owe it to students and staff to do everything we can to ensure a safe learning environment free of violence and disruption. I am confident that working as a school community, we can preserve an orderly learning environment where students concentrate on learning and teachers concentrate on teaching. Thank you so much.